Okay, well, here's our first glimpse of an old mower that I've had for a good few months now. Brought it a long, long time back and uh, never made a video of it. And uh, today we've finally decided to drag it out of the shed and work on it. We've uh, cleaned the points, capped the points, cleaned the carburetor out, cleaned the fuel tank out, put some oil in it, it has a spark, so no doubt it should run. It's a uh, 1966 3.5 horsepower Briggs and Strand on a cast alley hater deck and uh, I've never actually seen one of these decks ever, ever before. Never seen another one of these. And uh, also, even more unusually, it has the Briggs and Strand wind up starting mechanism on it. You basically crank this around flip the switch over here and it turns the engine over and hopefully it'll start. Uh, I've heard that when they wear out, when the engines get older, they can be a pig to start on these crank wind up starters. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We're going to manually operate the choke today and uh, give it a go. Uh, i just got to put the air filter screw in, uh, otherwise uh, it flood out. Yeah, so this is my third oldest mower uh, after, of course, the 1936 Ransoms and uh, the 1960s Web Roto Cycle. So, yeah, it's getting on a bit now. It's 47 years old, and hopefully, we're going to prove that it still runs. It is stone cold. This will be the first time I've ever run it. Let's wind it up. do is put the choke on, got a little bit of throttle, and see if it'll go. Just in that time. It's got to suck that fuel through.
My only one concern with this engine when I first got it was there was no stop spot. No taps to the oil filler. That was a little concerning. Uh, I couldn't get the blade off so the top hadn't been off. We just uh, put some oil in it and we'll flush it out in a little while and add some fresh again. Hopefully that is clear in all. So uh, yeah, let's get some going with it. Give it a start from war. running nice.